Okay, um, now you may remember in the video I did when I said about the car is finally running right, the new, the new throttle position sensor was causing the problem and I put the old throttle position sensor back on the car and I mentioned that I felt a little uncomfortable with that because obviously knowing that the car's had a rough life it's probably the original throttle position sensor so it's been on the car for 20 odd years 135,000 miles so I said that I would probably consider changing it and of course if I change it for a new one this time I'm going to make sure that it's a genuine Bosch sensor so 70 odd quid new sensor so the first one we're going to do is open it and make sure it's the right sensor. You love this, this is like Christmas. That's it really. Okay. Now yeah um in one of the comments people uh can't remember the gentleman's name um but asked if I could put the links for where I get stuff in the comments box below. Um, this comes from Dr. Car Parts off of eBay. Um, I can't put a link to the item because it's no longer listed anymore, but I will put a link to their shop, their seller shop, so you can go and see and search for stuff in there. So I'll pop that in the bottom. And there it is, the box is a bit squashed up. But says box, uh, says, says box, can't speak English says Bosch, so that's good, let's check it, and there's nothing in there, it's an empty box, nah, there, there, one throttle position sensor, that, that little bloody thing is what causes all the trouble, and all these are essentially is a potentiometer, which is like, you know the old knob on your train set you used to have, or your dimmer switch in the front room, and it says Bosch, made in Germany. But I did know that the one that's on there says made in Germany, but it doesn't say Bosch. So, no more ado, let's get the back of the car open and we'll swap it over. Okay, I can't uh, find anywhere to prop the camera up while I do this. So anyway, first job is to unhook your hose there, that goes from your oil air separator to your uh, throttle body because obviously it gets in the way of your thing. Now can we do this with one hand? And the answer to that is no so I'm going to have to put the camera down for two seconds. Okay so that's that one oops excuse me so okay that's that one unclipped so we're now just going to come round So now we come right, let's get the light. So now we come round to this side of the car, we've unclipped that one and we unclip this one, which again I'm gonna to have to put the camera down and use two hands. Okay, so that's that unclipped, and now that hose just comes out of the way. And we'll put that down over there. Right. Back round to the passenger side of the car, and if I can get the camera down there, yep, you can see that. You press that in, is it? Press that latch in on the plug, and you undo the plug on the air idle control valve. You've got to take the air idle control valve off because the throttle position sensor is directly underneath it. Now, just turn you around. Porsche use uh, the good old torque bolts on these and I'll show you the problem you've got now. So what you need to undo these torque bolts is your ratchet. That's your little, that's your torque screw that goes into there. So you've got your adapter that goes into the ratchet. You've got your socket that goes onto the ratchet and then you've got your little torque drive that goes into there and then 
and now you have to hold that for a minute because I don't want to show you. The problem you then have is that lot, let's get that finger out of the way, is not going to go in there. So that means that to get those bolts out, you've got to take the whole throttle body off. Seriously, I don't think so. Last time I had the throttle body off to clean it, I made a rather smart move. I changed the bolts. And I put Allen key bolts in them. Makes the job much easier. You can take both parts off without taking your throttle body off. So I'm just going to change hands. So I've got that hand free. So, oh, there we go. I'll just get my hand around that side. Hope you appreciate this. It's not easy doing it with one hand and holding the camera. And two. There. There. Is that not a lot bloody easier? Okay. Now then, there we go. Right, again, I'm going to put you down for a moment because it's easier for me to undo those bolts with two hands and it'll be a lot quicker and I'm sure you don't want to watch why I spend a minute or two undoing them. I'm just going to show that not. I'm not sure whether the camera is actually going to show this or not. I've got it positioned at the back of the engine bay. If it does, brilliant. If not, I'm talking to myself because it will be edited out. But as you can see, this makes life a lot, lot easier. Now, what you need to be careful of when you take the other bolt out is that you don't lose your gasket. Where am I? Sorry, there, let's get in there. Be careful of your gasket. You don't want to damage it, you don't want to lose it when you're taking this other bolt out. So make sure you support that and don't drop it down in the engine bay. I'm going to show that or not, it might be too high. But... Okay, that's the air idle control valve with the gasket. These um, these bolts that I replaced, where are we? These bolts that I replaced with the Allen key screws, they're actually the same bolts that hold the um, coil packs on. <laughs> Try and get that. I don't know if you can see that very well there, but they're just underneath the uh, idle control valve is your throttle position sensor and I've also changed the two bolts on that to Allen keys as well. So let's get my hand in there again so it's the same thing again you've got a little push-in clip there and the plug comes off of that and then it's exactly the same routine in with the Allen key and you undo that. Of course if you had the torque bolts on it it's exactly the same as with the top one. You'd have to have the throttle body off to um, get it out. Right, so again, I'm just going to put your camera down for a minute because I'm going to need two hands to get those. Because the last thing you want to do when you're taking this off is drop the bolts.
Uh, that's the two again. Let's get the light down. If I get my hand under it, you can see it. So it's a little bit of um, just wiggling and. should there you go slide off okay reassembly there see this one if i've come up here and if the camera is going to focus on it i don't think it is it's got germany on it but it doesn't say bosch on it so that could be a bit suspect right okay so putting it back together is the reverse of what you just done to take it apart the only thing to be careful of, of course, is that you don't drop your little bolts down underneath it because they're a bugger to get back. And you don't drop the gasket for the air idle control valve. So, let's get the new one and put it all back together. Here we go. Okay, now I don't know if the camera can see that, but you just got to be a little careful that it goes on that last little bit. Top bit. Right, now this is where it gets tricky. Because obviously you do not want to lose these bolts. It'd be a right pain in the arse if you did. Nose up. I don't need to go mad with those because obviously it's only a plastic sensor. You don't want to go breaking it off. Right. And then let's clip our plug back on. Doesn't seem to want to clip on. There we go, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Idle oh, control valve. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try and hold that in the camera. You might be able to see that. What I've done is put the bolts through it and put the gasket on the bolts. That way it helps to hold the gasket in place and protects it whilst you're putting these back on. And then you can just slide it in a little bit. This gives you the opportunity to get your bolts with your fingers. bolts a little bit it's too loose for the allen key thing but it's too tight to turn with your fingers always the bloody way
Don't go mental on them because again it's only a plastic sensor. Okay, so there both components are back on essentially in the reverse way to what I took them off. However, where I was thinking about doing the video and not paying attention, of course, I forgot the plug for the um air idle control valve so now it's just putting the hose back on and then we can give her a try just to make sure it starts it wants to bloody start and run at 70 quid right okay just going to put you down again okay so that's the hose back on both the throttle position center sensor on and the air idle control valve on both the plugs are on they're tight so now let's start her up and just make sure it all runs. I really must at some point get this bloody engine bay cleaned up. Okay, make sure it's out of gear. And... There you go. That all seems fine. Yep, that all seems fine. Okay, there you go. Whew. That's how to change throttle position sensor and how to make life easier for yourself in the future by changing the bolts over and using the ones with the Allen keys. It saves you having to pull the throttle body off every time you've got to sod around with them bits and pieces. So the one I've just taken off, which is to say, it's actually it's got, got a name on it. Uh, it's like N-E-T-Z-G-E or something. So it doesn't look like it's a Bosch part. And then it just says a uh, part number and Germany. But what I'll do, that will go in my spares box. Um, handy if ever you need to test the car. Someone thinks they might have a iffy throttle position sensor. We can swap that over and just check to see if it makes any difference. Um, also, it's handy to have in the boot so you've got a spare if ever the new one does play up. And it bloody doesn't well want to at that price, I can tell you. It needs to last another 20 odd years. So, okay, hope you're going to find that helpful if ever you've got to change your throttle position sensor over. And um, I'll catch up again with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. As I say, hope it was helpful. Please subscribe, please share, and please hit like. I will put, as I said, I will put the uh, the link to their shop in the comments box underneath. And um, I'll see you again in our next video. Bye.